tree sustains life. They contribute to our ecosystems. They not only support the, the life to so birds, insects and so on, but they also help us to infiltrate water in the underground when they collect water from the clouds or the rain. I used to work as a firefighter in the fire brigade. We did a fight against some uh, wildfires. The impact that you see of what you have seen before in a forest and what you see after is everything burned down, uh, it makes an impact on you. It gave me another view of how we are looking at our forest, how we are looking after the environment. Our main water supply in the Canary Islands is underground water. Uh, this water source is finite, and uh, due to population growth and the added stress of climate change and tourism, we've seen this uh, water source being declined. Our natural forests in the Canary Islands would do this job, so they would collect naturally, would collect for water and infiltrate it in the underground. However, because we don't have these forests, we now are using the fog collectors, and with the water collected, we are irrigating all our reforestation. Fog is basically water in the air, which are the clouds. When these clouds touch the surface, it's the ones that we call fog, and by collecting them in our fog collectors is how we can source of sustainable water. In 40, 50 years' time, we are hoping to have a full-grown forest which would be able to sustain itself and also infiltrate this much-needed water into our systems. Our fog collectors, they are also beneficial for agriculture, farmers, the isolated towns in other places where fog also takes place. We have developed a very easy to handle and to install technology, so anybody in the world could actually build these types and install them anywhere they need it. The start of the project is quite hard, but so was the half of the project when you start collecting data and analyzing it and seeing the results of your work is when you start to feel this kind of pride of actually contributing towards something good and something better. And also when we start talking to international people interested in our project, we are very proud to be a part of that change. My personal hope is that future generations will be able to enjoy uh, the work that we are doing today and that this type of work continue towards the future and it's not just a, a once in a lifetime.